Hello student nurses. In this video, we are going over the conduction pathways of the heart. First off, as always, we're going to get oriented to this image over here so we know what we are looking at. This is the right side of the body. This is the left side of the body because we are looking at the heart as if it were a patient, not ourselves. Down here is the apex of the heart. Here's the base of the heart. The apex is lower and the base is higher. These are the ventricles down here, the right ventricle and the left ventricle. And these are the atria up here, right atria and left ventricle. The heart has an electrical pathway, as you see here in green, that pulses through the heart 60 to 100 times per minute. That's why a normal heartbeat is 60 to 100 times per minute. The heart does this automatically without us having to think about it. This electrical impulse starts right here. It's called the sinoatrial node or the SA node. This is known as the pacemaker of the heart. After the SA node initiates this electrical signal, it travels through the Bachmann's bundle here over to the left atrium. And at the same time, it is traveling down these internodal tracks. There are three of them, the posterior, the middle, and the anterior. After it is done in the atria, here and here, it then goes to the atrioventricular node here. Once it gets to this AV node here, there's a purposeful delay before it starts traveling down the bundle of his. This delay is so both of the atrium can depolarize, which means contract, before the ventricles contract. So this can do the first S1 contraction, so the lub, and then it goes into the contraction of the ventricles, which is the dub, or otherwise known as S2. The actual percussion noise we are hearing of the lub or S1 are the atrioventricular valves closing and then the dub S2 will be the semilunar valves closing when the blood flows into the aorta and into the pulmonary artery. Anyways, after a small delay here at the atrioventricular node, it travels through the bundle of his, and then at the same time, well, close to the same time, the left bundle branch actually is slightly first than the right bundle branch, but the signal starts to travel down the bundle branches in the septum of the heart, and then it travels through the Purkinje fibers. Once it gets to these Purkinje fibers, the ventricles depolarize or contract. This completes one whole heartbeat. If for some reason the sinoatrial node, the pacemaker of the heart, is not creating impulses, this AV node can be the secondary pacemaker and it can actually create its own electrical impulse and it will travel down the ventricles. Now, if both the SA node and the AV node are not creating those electrical impulses, the Purkinje fibers can, but it is not adequate to keep up the enough blood pressure in our bodies to sustain life. Some memory tricks I have are to one, look at where they are in the anatomy. So for the sinoatrial node, atrial, it's in the atrium, it's up top here. And the atrioventricular node, 
you look where it is. It's right between the atrium and the ventricle. It is more in the atrium, but atrial ventricular node right there. For a bundle of his, I think of a man bundling something up because it's his. So it's his, so he bundles it up, bundle of his. And since this is a bundle, it splits off into the right side and the left side, and they both have bundle in their name. So right bundle branch and left bundle branch. For Purkinje fibers, I think kin, like kids or family, and that's why there are a whole bunch of branches like a family tree off of this. And then fibers, there are a lot of fibers in there. So Purkinje fibers, lots of kin, like a family tree. For Bachman's bundle, I think take this part, Bach, like the famous musician, and I imagine this, an arm over here coming to play a piano with a little hand at the end. So Bach men's bundle. All right, that's it for this video. Thanks for joining and I'll see you next time.